Okay, so like I said, we have to choose and justify a criteria. Um, not all criteria are going to apply uh, to our policy problems. Um, you know, uh, technical feasibility might not be an issue if, uh, you know, we're just considering an administrative change, right? That everyone, uh, everyone has to uh, clock in at a certain time, right? Technical feasibility doesn't really uh, apply here or, um, you know, legality might not necessarily apply uh, or, you know, social acceptability, right? I mean, someone's clocking in and out hours may not violate some some social acceptability, although I guess they could, right? If, if we start saying, well, everyone has to clock in at 530 in the morning, there that might not be socially acceptable. I don't know. Um, but but some criteria are going to be more potent. They're going to be more meaningful uh, for your policy than others. Um, and a kind of great, great and sometimes frustrating thing about this is that uh, in real life, in the real world, if you are doing uh, a policy analysis with an agency or as a consultant, um, you are probably not always going to be choosing your own evaluative criteria, right? Your, your boss or your client might say, these are the things that we really care about, right? We really care about efficiency, right? We really care about um, uh, equity, right? We really care about administrative feasibility. Effectiveness, right? Remember effectiveness, the degree to which a, a policy option will bring us closer to our policy objectives or goals. Um, it should always, you know, I'm going to say it should always be a criterion that you use. Um, I would even say it's probably the most important criterion that you could evaluate uh, policies with. If the policy doesn't have any likelihood of bringing about the desired result, why would you recommend it, right? There's there's almost no reason not to uh, choose effectiveness as one of your criteria. It's it's important, um, but you'll also probably have to balance it with some other criteria. Uh, just as an example, um, efficiency, right, is a, a kind of measure of the uh, effectiveness for cost. Right. What is what is the return? Right. What is the effectiveness of our policy and how much are we spending to get there? Um, right. If one policy option, it could be super, super effective, but it's also really, really expensive and beyond uh, a, a budgetary constraint. Right. We we can't necessarily recommend that policy because it's going to outstrip our, our, our costs or our, our budgets. Um, Cost and efficiency are not the same thing, right? They are different concepts. Uh, they mean different things. They are closely related, right? Cost only considers the kind of raw expenditures for a, a policy option. Uh, efficiency deals with the costs and the returns. Um, so some folks will use those interchangeably, but they are very different concepts. Like I said, uh, with political feasibility, you do need to be familiar with the decisions of your, your local policymakers or your relevant elected officials. Um, and uh, with legality, you need to know what the relevant laws uh, or ordinances are um, that you could run afoul of with different policies.